welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Katie and I'm here because I want to share um, some tools that I really love when I'm designing for my social media projects as well as for my blogging projects. And today I'm going to teach you three simple things on how you can personalize or how you can customize a Canva template so that it would look like it's you who actually created it and it's not just coming from a template. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so here we are in the Canva interface and this is what you will see right after you log in. So today, we are going to try to personalize an A4 document and you can see that when you look for um, sample projects on Canva. That's actually really, really convenient right here because Canva will show you some of the most common documents that you can create using the tool. Now I'm using the browser version, so you might not be able to see this as it is when you use the mobile app. So there's a different view when you are using Canva on your phones as well as on iPads or other tablets. So for today, Today's project here's what we are going to do we are going to click on a4 document all right and then we are gonna search for a template that we are going to use for this project so so you can choose whatever template you want so I'm just gonna quickly scroll over here and then search for um, the template that I want to use so I think this is a good um, template that we can use so there's two options we are going to be choosing the first one first of course and then if we still have time later and i'm gonna try to personalize the second half as well so here we go in order for you to use a template you simply have to click it and it will appear in your workspace or in your blank canvas another option so let me just undo that another option is for you to drag it and then drop it and it's actually going to give you the same thing all right so here we are looking at the template so it has bold letters here you go and the designer for this template actually used around two at least two fonts right here and then with the illustrator and with an illustration of a microphone um, and then a background two shades of the background and then here there's another background that is white all right so how can we personalize this the first thing that we can do is to actually change colors all right so let's get down to it um you just need to click on it and then if you will see the color swatch in here click it and then your brand kit if you are using canva on a canva pro account your brand kit will appear now if you are on a free account you don't have to worry because you can always always just search for the color all right let's say we wanted to make it blue or green or whatever color that you want so i just type blue and then some examples of blue colors will appear so i like this so there you go so just by choosing that one change just by changing the color from white to blue your design looks like it's a different thing already right but we can go further than that so let's go ahead and try to change this color as well um let's just go with the blue theme right now so let's say um no i don't like that color so if you your color if the color that you want would not appear just click on the plus sign right here and then you can type all right, you can type your hex code as well. That's another option. Or you can simply just drag here until you find the color that would suit your taste as of the moment. All right. So um, let me see what I want. So I think I like this. It looks more masculine. Like if I say, for example, this event is for a men only exclusive event or something that's formal. So you can go with the dark colors. All right, so I think I'm okay with this color. So compared with the other one earlier, it's actually pretty different already. I mean, you cannot recognize that it's from a template. All right, so another thing that we can apply, we're done with the color. So that's the first thing that you have to change. The other one would be, do you have any guesses? All right, if you guessed font, then you are right. All right, so here we go. We are going to change this to a different font. Currently, right now, the font um, is League Spartan. So I'm going to choose a different font. Let's say it's Lemon Milk. 
all right there's not much difference if i choose that font so let me go ahead and find another one let's see if josephine there you go it appeared all right so i like this it's just really simple font now if you want to make it bigger you can do so as well just highlight the font and then there you go let's make it a bit bigger there you go it's a lot bigger and then i'm just gonna drag this little thingy right here and i'm going to change the font as well so if you are using a sans serif font like this one i would recommend maybe add a little um spice to it so we are gonna use a script font so let me search a font that is free on canva there are so many fonts right now i think there's about 500 or so um so you have a lot of options already all right so here we go we are gonna choose this font um let me just check if we can change it that's a little too big so there you go um mackenzie high talent show in a script or handwritten font and then this one we don't have to change it but what we can do is to actually reposition it so that's the third trick or process that i'm going to teach you so the first one change the color second change the font and the third one is to reposition the text on the template and then you can of course you can change this it doesn't mean that that's the, the words that are in the template then you have to stick to that of course no you can personalize but in the interest of time i'm not going to change any of the text already but i'm just going to show you the process so Here's another thing with repositioning. The other option can be you move it right here and then you move it right here. So let me just move all those elements right now and then move the microphone here. And then instead of this um, being aligned on the left, I'm gonna align it to the right. All right, so there you go. And then I'm also going to align this to the right so that they are on the same area and this one as well. There you go. Quick and easy. You have changed the template already and you have personalized it. Now, let's try the other design, which is this one. So what you can do with this, of course, is to change the color as well. So I'm going to choose the blue again, or maybe this one, and then change, of course, this one. So this is a picture on a frame. So we can look for a picture on a frame as well. So let's see, maybe um, some people on a part at a party or something. So let me just um, search for a photo. Um, let's say we want to use this one, then definitely you can use that one. Um, you also can use different photos if you want. So what you need to do is just to make sure that you're looking for the right keywords so you can get the right photos that you want. Now take a look here. I'm just going to mention this before we end the tutorial for today. It's really quick, right? If you see that it's free, that means you can use it without getting charged. Now there are some photos with the dollar sign or in some android phones i think there's some coins to it so that means you have to pay for it all right so let me just illustrate that let's say for example i'm gonna pick this all right so as you can see if it's paid it's gonna show you a photo with some watermark in it the canva watermark and some lines so I actually really, really wanted to tell you, please avoid um, using this kind of photos if you don't want to pay for it because it's going to be obvious when you have or when you post your designs, the watermark will be there. Even if you screenshot this, you don't have to pay, you will still have the watermark and that's it that's not gonna do good in your design it's gonna look ugly so only choose the paid photos if you are able to pay for the design that you will choose but other than that there are so many many pictures right here that you can use for free so we can even use this one all right just drag and drop it then um if you have access to some stock photos online as well there are free sources like unsplash then you can do that as well so there you go please try this out use the templates on canva if you don't um if you are not confident yet 
in starting a design from scratch and then just personalize it again let me just review there are three things that you can do to change the look and feel of the design that you're making from a template so the first one you have to change the colors Second would be change the font and then the third one would be repositioning the elements in your design. So there you go. That's a quick and easy tutorial for personalizing your Canva designs. All right. So if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And to all our subscribers, thank you so much. We really appreciate you subscribing and waiting for the vlogs as well as the tutorials that I'm publishing. So wherever you are in the world, have a great night or have a great day. Bye-bye.